Hello everyone, work from home and home-based learning is the new norm for all of us now. It can be challenging, especially if you're a parent. However, it need not be so. Our children need to have a basic sense of emotional safety. Feeling safe will reduce frustration, embarrassment and other emotional barriers, allowing us to do our best. Why? Because learning involves a whole range of emotions from curiosity and delight to frustration and stress. Obviously, if students experience negative emotions when learning, they will not enjoy the learning process. I'd like to provide four simple suggestions for our parents to consider while creating an emotional safety net for our children. First, as parents, we need to manage our own emotions and stress. Remember, our children are watching us all the time to learn things. For example, if we are angry or stressed, don't hide it. We can say something like, going to take three minutes to calm down before we continue. We are showing our children that everyone experiences anger or stress, but these emotions can be managed. Part of managing emotions and stress is also managing our expectations. What is our role for our children during home-based learning? It is simply to be a supportive parent. Our children will have their teachers guiding them through home-based learning. They do not need another teacher at home to manage what they are doing and learning. For me, I work in a different area at home from my set for daughter so that she can have her own space. Second, we need to empower our children. In other words, we need to trust them and give them the ownership to manage their own learning. For younger children, we may need to work with them on how to manage their learning. For example, co-create a schedule so that there's predictability for them and they can also own the process. However, for older children like my set for daughter, I empower her to manage her own schedule and learning. And she checks in with me at the end of the day about our home-based learning experiences, be it to discuss about a question or just to vent about a frustrating moment. As a parent, I offer support by listening. You'll be surprised how our children can rise to the occasion. In fact, I see my daughter much more hardworking and more on task than she was before home-based learning kicked in. Third, in order to empower our children, we need them to feel safe to be themselves. Most of us do behave quite differently when we are at work and when we are at home. The same goes for our children. We may actually see a side of our children which we seldom see at home. For example, my daughter is quite the clown but she brings joy to her classmates and they actually do look up to her. We should focus on the positives and the strengths in our children rather than their weaknesses. And we should try to stop shaping our children into who we think they should be. Fourth. We also need our children to feel safe to fail. Our children do value our views of them. This is also why my work from home space is in a different area from my daughter's home-based learning space. This reduces unnecessary stress and anxiety which may affect my daughter's learning. I do not need my daughter to worry about my views of her. She makes mistakes during home-based learning. It does not matter to me that she makes mistakes. In fact, I welcome it because research has shown that mistakes can help a person to learn better. So it is more important to me that she learns from her mistakes. In this time of work from home and home-based learning, these four ideas, managing our own emotions and expectations, empower our children, make them feel safe, give them the space to try and fail, can give us parents a wonderful opportunity to create an emotional safety net for our children to learn about values and skills that go beyond school and at the same time to learn together as a family. Take care and stay safe.